I, I am super in love with Rensselaer. Like I, I curate a lot of different stuff and myself and my family, we look forward to coming here every year. And I think because it's so different from where I'm from, like I live San Francisco, you know, it's crazy tech, tech industry, cars everywhere. And we look forward to coming here every year because it's not just a time to do art, but it's a time to slow down. This was a five year process to get to the point where we can have real abstract art and kind of more funky art coming. That didn't happen overnight. Like one of the things I do when I'm curating or kind of prepping for that is like, you really have to create murals and, and create a safe experience for the people that live here with putting up murals that can speak to them, you know, and vibe with them first. And you're slowly introducing new forms of art that maybe they never saw before. But the more you introduce them to art, the more they're gonna research art. And now that's why this year we're able to have like a lot of uh, different types of art. Yeah, I, think, I think at the end of the day, all of these artists want the public to feel a sense of, of joy or just something different, something that stops them in their tracks to slow you down and make you feel something, make you have an experience, you know? For me, when I'm walking through alleyways in the city or, or just walking on Ren Art Walk, like, it feels so good to stop and look at every piece and not be thinking about all the craziness of life, right? Like, you look at every piece and you have a different experience. At the end of the day, it's simply joy. I think as an artist and a curator, I'm hoping this just helps them feel a little happiness.